back to Winnipeg after I, had, I was at the draft in Pittsburgh and after I decided I was going to take this job. And I had talked to Kevin Shevelday off, Mark Chipman, the owner obviously of the Jets and, that, and then the Moose, uh, Craig Heisinger who was the GM. It was, that was where that phrase came, the evil empire. And it was Chevy laughing at us, uh, Bomber and I, it was obviously uh, Mark and, and Zinger kind of big wide-eyed, really, you're going to that team. Uh, so, but at the end of the day, and this is where I've had dinner with Don and obviously I've, uh, with Mark Chipman as well, uh, the respect, I didn't know that there was such great respect between both owners and uh, both franchises over the years as much as Chicago beat us uh, compared to us beating them. Um, there was great respect for both organizations and Don said it best when he said if, if they couldn't have won a championship, they were hoping that it was Manitoba that would win. So, um, so at the end of the day, and you know, obviously the Winnipeg Jets slash Manitoba Moose hired Kevin Day off as their GM. So they started it. So, um, but it's a, great, it's a great story. It's a great circle. And Nolan obviously being an ex-player, uh, just, just retiring. And he's going to be great knowledge for me, certainly for Chicago with the players, kind of the American League level here. So um, I've already coached him before. I know what he's about. So it'll be, uh, it'll be I think, a real good, uh, real good mix. And it's, but it's, it is a funny story how it's all come about. But the one big thing about both organizations prior to the American League, we were uh, independent organizations and we weren't, we weren't affiliated with NHL teams and we really wanted to make sure that the product on the ice was uh, second to none, that it was, uh, you know, that you made sure it was about winning and that, uh, you know, you had that you obviously you want to entertain and you wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, your fan base uh, really got in behind the, you know, the product and um, you know, obviously the Wolves and their success winning four championships is is an obviously a test to that and I just felt that um, you know coming to this organization I know what it's about it's about winning it isn't just about developing players in the NHL which is my job which is part of what we have to do as coaches we have to get these players ready for you know to take that next step but there's also the pressure to win you know Don Levin the organization they want to win our fan base wants to have success on the ice so that's what I've loved that's what I did in Manitoba we had expectations there about winning but we had expectations also about developing and it's a real good mix and I think it puts players in a real good position to get themselves to the NHL faster and um, you know what I like I said there's a lot of uh, parallels between the, this organization and Manitoba and that was very appealing to me. Scott isn't the only guy that crossed enemy lines. Former Wolves captain and newest assistant coach Nolan Baumgartner and his family join Arneal on the front lines of the franchise in the battle for this year's Calder Cup. Coming here to play last year was a little bit weird. You know, you're on the in the other dressing room, on the other bench on the ice. Those first couple games were different. You know, you have that Wolves jersey on, and um, you know after all those wars that we went through and uh, the battles on the ice. Uh, that the two teams went through Manitoba and, and Chicago uh, to play for the other side. You know, there was, there was obvious, I mean, there was a respect, the respect factor, but there was a hate factor there too. I mean, we, the two teams hated playing each other and um, that made for great games. But you know what, we totally embrace it. It's, uh, it is kind of funny, I was talking to, to Mark Chipman, the owner of the Winnipeg Jets, who did own the Moose and he just he said the same thing. He's like, man, it's so ironic that you and Scott are now behind the bench, the Wolves, and Chevy is is here as the GM in Winnipeg. It's just uh, it's that whole switchover. Change isn't always easy, and according to Nolan's wife Liz, the move south from Manitoba was a more difficult transition to make than Baumgartner's recent retirement. I think immediately, um, you know, there there was definitely. I, I think a little sense of loss, you know, for me, because you've built, um, just like here, you know, you've built relationships with people around the team. I think most of our, most of our friends and the people that um, we spent our time with in Winnipeg were, were probably, you know, front office people with the Moose and, uh, you know, maybe some coaching staff and, uh, you know, just you're so happy for, for all those people because you know what, what's about to change for them and it's sort of, you know, the dream for everybody, but um, yeah, at the same time, it was, you know, it's an emotional end of, definite end of an era, but you know that, you know, what, what came in is, you know, in, in a sense, it's, it's what they always 
did want back there. So, and yeah, the irony that, you know, well, where's the team moving to? And when, you know, they said Chicago, I just thought, oh, that's, you know, that's beautiful. Yeah, my decision last year was a lot harder uh, where I was going to go play. Uh, I was, you know, I'm, I'm really committed to uh, Craig Heisinger that was with the Winnipeg Jets now uh, and that system that was in Manitoba. It's weird, you know, because there was just such a good rivalry and really just a lot of, you know, I mean, you, lo you love to hate the Wolves, right, and, and probably them with, with the Moose, so. But, and I think also, too, with last summer, I think that was, the, those were tougher, tougher times, tougher decisions, and this, this season with the coaching and retiring. It's really, Funny the way things work out. Manitoba Moose being one of our major, maybe our biggest robbery, uh, back going back to the I days and the American League. And, and it's funny because the Manitoba Moose actually, I, I believe that they weren't even focused on winning a championship there. They're focused on how to beat the Chicago Wolves because they knew if they were to win a championship, they had to go through us. And they were trying to focus how can they match up against us and beat beat the Chicago Wolves. So that says something about our franchise, something about our our competitive uh, nature between the two teams. But, uh, having Scotty Arneal, which is a bitter rival as a, as a player, a bitter rival as a coach, and now he's our coach. Nolan Baumgartner, one of their key uh, guys as a player, now he's one of our coaches, and uh, it's kind of ironic. And then uh, if you want to flip it a little bit, you go Kevin Chevalier, I was working for the Winnipeg, basically the Winnipeg Manitoba Moose, uh, Winnipeg Jets franchise. So uh, Zenger, uh, Craig Heisinger, the GM of the Manitoba Moose, and uh, one of the GMs with uh, the Jets, he said he knows the world has been flipped upside down when Shovel Dayoff's working for them, and, and I've got Arneal and Baumgartner in my fold. So it's uh, we have a great relationship, and it's and it's uh, uh, but it's funny because uh, as soon as uh, Scotty Arneal uh, officially had the job here, I said, "Welcome to the dark side." <laughs>